Why is it? All right, hey, so how are you guys doing? We're going to do a quick scientific test here of the pH of different water. We're also going to do the, the TDS. Now, what's different about this and most other videos is most videos don't use a, an expensive scientific measurement tool. This here is the pH pen in the combo meter. This is the basically the computer. And this is the TDS meter also. It takes the temperature. Now, most people use these like these cheap strips that don't truly tell you what the water's pH is. They use like pool strips or they use pool drops or something like that. This tells you exactly what it is. So we'll go to, I got Powerade right here. We'll go to Powerade in a second and beer at the end here. But let's start with the water. We'll start with the pH. We'll go and turn this thing on here and see what the pH of different water is. So first up we got here is Crystal Geyser. Now the reason why pH is so important when you're drinking water is most people's diet is very acidic. And an acidic diet means that, you know, it, it means your body works harder to try to make your blood at 7.0 pH. That's what your natural body wants to be at. Your blood, and, if you're a healthy person, your body will try very hard to try to actually get your, your blood to be at 7.0 pH. So we'll start with the crystal geyser, which is right here. If what you're eating and drinking is naturally right around that 7.0, it means your body doesn't have to work hard in order to get it to your natural blood's neutral of 7.0 pH. If you're eating a lot of alkaline stuff and alkaline foods, if your diet's mostly alkaline, the opposite is true. Your body still has to work hard to try to get it down to 7.0. Your body, your body will do everything it can even harming itself in order to keep your blood at 7.0 pH, right? So here we got Crystal Geyser. It's, cry it's climbing up here slowly. We're at 6.6 uh, .6 right now. Now I already know that uh, Crystal Geyser is going to settle right around uh, 6.8 to 6.9. It takes a little bit for the, for the uh, scientific instrument to, to do that. But that's where it's going to settle at. And um, I don't want to like take all the video time in order to show that. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to pause the live video. So anyways, it's at 6.7 now. Just trying to help it along by getting some of the bubbles out and things like that. 6.8. And that's pretty much where it settles at. It settles at right around 6.8 to 6.9. That's actually really good. That's almost right there where your body needs it. So your body isn't going to have to work hard to get the crystal geyser to get at that pH that you want to be at. Now, if you're if your body is naturally, or if you're eating a, a naturally acidic diet, which most people are, and just really quickly, foods that are really good for you that are high in pH are things like raw zucchini, raw broccoli, things like that. You can also look it up. Just look up uh, foods that are high in pH. Now, when you cook those foods, they're not as high in pH as when they're raw. And and if that's the only way you can eat them is cooked, then, then by all means, eat them cooked. But raw zucchini is one of the best things you can eat uh, for high pH. But what do you do a lot of? You drink a lot of fluids throughout the day. At least you should be to be healthy, right? Now, here's something you can buy at Safeway. And this actually tests. It doesn't test it right at 8.8. .8. It tests more like at 8.5 to 8.6, something like that. But still, that's very alkaline, like super alkaline. You don't really need to go higher than that. Now, you can buy things like black water at, at some very you know, very expensive little market or that, 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 that expensive, I forget the name of it, but there's another expensive uh, pH, a high pH water in there. Now this also has electrolytes and minerals in it, a lot of good things that are good for you. So this has a lot of good things in it for you, plus it has a good pH. So you're getting a lot of your minerals and stuff that you need and electrolytes, plus you're also getting the high pH. Whereas Powerade Zero is gonna give you a lot of electrolytes and a lot of good things for you, but it's also very acidic. However, the kind of acid that's in this, it seems the body has an easy time to balance it out because I never get acid reflux from this. I do get acid reflux from beer, from pizza, uh, things like that with, with, um, you know, with high acid in them from the tomato juice. All right next up is Purified Drinking Water by Great Value. This is just a, a Walmart brand here. So Gerber is at 6.8. That's actually really good. Keep in mind that your local tap water, pretty much in any, if you have a good local local tap water, it's most likely to be right around 7.1, 7.3. They put buffers in it to try to keep it at that because they know that's what the body wants to be at, right around that 7.0. So we're at, uh, it says 7.2 right now, but just, just keep in mind that it takes a second to, to adjust itself. So notice now it's at 7.0, 7.6.9. 
I know that the uh, purified drinking water from Walmart will drop down. Um, it's at 6.8, 6.9. Just give it a second here. And, and so, again, as, as I'm going through each of these waters here, as it let it kind of balance out and show what it is, the important thing of drinking water that is right around that 7.0 or higher is that your body is so acidic because of all the different foods you eat throughout the day that if you want to make your body work less hard, drink a lot of water that's either pH balanced or actually has, um, you know, different things in it. Yeah, it's a, it's a drawing channel, and I, I do mostly drawing videos. But you know, from the beginning of this uh, channel, I've also done uh, fighting videos, video game videos. You know, I, I do other things besides drawing videos, and, and I think that this is an important thing to know. Uh, what water is good for you. Um, so as you can see here, the, the purified drinking water is going down to like 6.6. .6, and I think it actually goes down even, even below that. Like just, uh, there it goes, 6.5. I think it goes all the way down to 6.3. But to keep the video shorter, I'm not going to sit here and belabor the point. It's already down to 6.5, 6.4. We already know that water is not good for you. Next up is Arrowhead. Arrowhead is another really affordable water like Crystal Geyser that actually has a good pH to it. Uh, the pH is going to settle right around the 6.8, 6.9. And that means that your body doesn't have to work hard in order to keep your, your blood. Now keep in mind that water goes to your blood very quickly and, and changes the pH of your blood fast. Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself, like me, having issues with, uh, with, with, that, with acid, like you have some sort of acid reflux, and you have a hard time eating things like pizza or drinking beer, and when you drink beer the next day or, or even that day, you, you know, your acid reflux really bothers you. You got to take Xantex and things like that. Try drinking a lot of like something like Arrowhead water or Crystal Geyser water. I'm already going to tell you right now, Evian water, Fiji water, or uh, Pure Gerber. I haven't actually tested this Nestle Pure Life, which I'm going to test in a second, or something like this from Safeway. This, when I'm having a really bad day, this is what I drink right here because that right there really just saves my day. So you can see it already settled at 6.8, and I already know it's going to go to 6.8, 6.9. That's Arrowhead. So between Crystal Geyser and Arrowhead, really good pH for your body, and you know that you're getting something that's going to help your, your body throughout the day to make sure that your body stay, your body doesn't have to work as hard to balance everything else out that eating that's acidic. And by the way, most of the foods you eat are acidic. Next up is Evian. Now Evian is a very expensive water, but I have to say, it's also really good water. It's got a lot of good things in it. It's got, um, as you can see right on the label, it has the magnesium. Hopefully, it'll focus on that. The calcium, the magnesium, it has potassium, it has silica, and uh, different sulfates and uh, chlorides and bicarbonates. So there's a lot of good stuff in it for you. This is also the highest T TDS, meaning it has the most PPMs out of all the different water that I've tested, um, which is kind of crazy. But it means it's really, really good for you. Um, anyway, you can see here it's uh, setting at 7.1. That's pretty much where it settles at. I already know that. Now, a lot of people think that smart water is really good for you. Really good marketing, maybe. But as you're going to see here, the pH is bad. And it doesn't really have anything in it. Even the uh, TDS is, is, is kind of low. And we'll see that in a second here. But um, at first, you'll see like it jumps up. But give it a second. Let it balance itself out here. Because yeah, it takes a second. Like you usually want to make, you want to wait like 60 seconds when you're testing these waters. And uh, anyway, so we're gonna see it drop down here. So this is smart water. Now, smart water, it, it says it's a, a vapor distilled water. I already know because it's vapor distilled that it's gonna actually have a low, it's gonna have a low pH. However, it also says that it has electrolytes for taste. So that means it has some minerals and stuff in it. And then those minerals can help raise the pH a little bit um, from the distilled water. By the way, distilled water, if you have acid reflux and stuff, is one of the worst things for you. It's very acidic. It's like usually between 4.8 or so to 5.3, somewhere around there. Very acidic water. So distilled water, not good if you have acid reflux, not good in general. We're, look, at, we're already down to 7.0. This is with smart water. Now, smart water actually gets more acidic than this. It actually drops down more. Now, one thing you can do, though, is when you first get it out, when you first pour it out of the bottle, um, it does seem to be more acidic at first, but if you let it sit in the open for a little bit, it gets less acidic. Um, and I think that's just because it's you know trapped in the in the bottle in the air. I'm not really sure why. Once it gets open to the air, some of those natural minerals and stuff you know start to buffer it out. The same thing happens with tap water. 
um, when you first put, you know put tap water out of your of your spigot, it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, like sometimes lower in pH, and then uh, you, you test the you leave it open like an open container and test the next day and it's actually risen up a little bit. But you can see here it's already dropping right six point eight right. It actually goes lower than that, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to keep on going because I already know that smart that smart water actually will get lower than six point eight when I leave it in there. So smart water not the best water as far as pH goes. Again, it gets low. The next up is Fiji water. Now Fiji water is on par with Evian. I already know this because I already did the test, and it goes up to seven point one as well. And the TDS between the Fiji and Evian is about half. Like Fiji is right around, I think it's 180, and Evian is like right around three something. And that that has to do with the, how many of the good things are in it, how many of the electrolytes, how many of the mainly the main things is the potassium, the calcium. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure if Fiji even has potassium. I know it says it has uh, silica, calcium, magnesium, and it has bicarbonates. I imagine the bicarbonates has to come from potassium, like potassium bicarbonate. But you think they would mention that? So. I'm not sure if it has potassium or not, but you can see right away, boom, 7.1, went, went there pretty fast. Now, so we got Evian and Fiji, like being some of the best water out there um, that you can buy at, at pretty much any store. The problem is, is that it's really expensive. So I'm running out of power here. So unfortunately, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this video without plugging my phone in. So yeah, uh, anyway, I already know that Aquafina is acidic, Life Water is acidic. Uh, Gerber Pure Water, a lot of minerals and stuff in it, and also it's right around 7.0, really, really good. I haven't tested this water, so I have no idea what it is, so let's go ahead and do that right now. This is this one right here, and I'll do that before the battery dies, hopefully, here. And uh, yeah, and this is very acidic. This was like 2 point something, 2.6. That's like almost acid, but it's weird because it, it changes in your body. And then um, this is really awesome, awesome and great stuff. And then beer is very acidic, too. It's right around 3.4 to 4.0. Same thing with soda. And you can see that. Look at that. Wow, so we got uh, Nestle Pure Life here, and it looks like that it might actually have a decent pH to it, and I know it has some good stuff in it as well, but it's already dropping to 6.9. But if it stays above like 6.8, then it's good. Again, my battery's probably gonna die any moment now, so hopefully I can get this done. No, six, that's already down to 6.7, never mind. All right, so. Uh, Pure Life by Nestle, Nestle is out of, out of the question. So we got we got Gerber Pure, we got Fiji, we got Afina, or excuse me, Evian, we got Arrowhead, and we got Crystal Geyser. Everything else, crap. Don't drink it. So that's pretty much it. Sorry, guys. Uh, this, is, this isn't art-related. Look, it's already down to 6.6, .6, so that's bad. Um, the Gerber Pure has, has a really high amount, like 180 or so, of PPMs. It means that it has a, a lot of good stuff in it for you. Uh, Fiji has a lot of good stuff for you. Evian has a lot of good stuff for you. Arrowhead and Geyser are right around 80 ppm, so they don't they don't have a lot of like minerals and stuff in it. Um, so if you want something that's affordable with a lot of minerals and a good pH, go with the Gerber Pure. It's inexpensive, easy to easy to find at Walmart, and I think I have I think they have it might maybe at other stores. I'm not sure. I know that they sell this at Walmart or at Walmart though. All right, sorry about that, guys. My battery is going to die any minute here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, just a quick thing, and just to show you guys the beer. Watch how fast it drops. This is a beer right here, and I just want to show you guys before the battery dies. Look at that, 4.0. It's going down 3.7, 3.5, 3.4. Very acidic beer is. So is Coke uh, or any kind, of, any kind of soda out there. So soda is just very, very bad for you in general. Not, not just because it has, it's acidic, but also because of all the crap that's in it. But there you guys go. So the water to pick from, I'd go if you want something affordable, go with the Gerber Pier. Um, next would be like the Fiji. If you want something expensive, Evian. If you just want something that's not that's very very affordable and easy to find, at any any store like 7-Eleven, Arrowhead, or Crystal Geyser, you're gonna be good with those. They're gonna have a good pH. Um, your body's not, gonna, not your body's not, not gonna have to work hard to keep your your uh, blood balanced uh, pH properly, and it has a little bit of goodness in it. So, but again, Gerber Pure and Fiji have more goodness, and then Evian has the most goodness in it. And I don't have enough time to do the TDS on that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, thank you for watching. And I will be coming out with art video. I will. I'm working on it. Just give me time. Been very busy. If you want to watch my other videos, check them out. I have some other cool videos on, on here on the channel. A lot of, like, I have like over 600 art videos. So, yeah, all free.